Welcome back to Give Me Five with a Jones and Eli. Eli, cruise ships, valid vacation spot? No. I mean, they're, they're valid in the sense of, yes, I would call it a vacation, but they suck. Cruise ships suck, period, end of story. There's no merits to them, I don't think. If you're going to go on a vacation somewhere, just go on a vacation, right? Why do you want to be on a disease-infested boat in the middle of the ocean going around to places, seeing different spots for five minutes at a time, and then stressing to get back on the boat before it leaves you in some random city in a port somewhere. Just go on a regular vacation. Don't go on a cruise. You know, there's a great quote in human culture that we overuse all the time. It's it's not about the destination. It's about the journey, my friend. And And, and cruise ships are the actual tangible representation of that so uh, sometimes cruise ships are going nowhere and it's just literally about the journey and sometimes cruise ships actually do have a destination right so you could hop on a cruise ship in uh you know tampa or miami or wherever whatever port from florida and then go down to the gulf somewhere right and enjoy your time there instead of just being in, in some transport that's, that's very that's not a cruise no, yes, it would be. No. Yes, it would. There's plenty. No, no I mean, you're just wrong because I was actually looking in with my friends to booking a cruise like this. And then when you're on the cruise, entertainment, water parks, there's even museums on some great meals. There's some bad there's some bad meals. But I'm thinking about there's some cruise ships where they have luxury meals, especially uh, in the dinner hour. Um, and great partying. I think I think a lot of the reason why cruise ships get a bad rap is because families try to go on them. And on on a, I agree, the family trip on the cruise ship would suck, right? You know, the the kids are getting in fights. You know, they want to go on their iPads. People are, you know, you know, if things are going off the walls. You're annoyed. You need to get away from your family. It's a nightmare at sea. But if you go with a couple buddies, you're partying. They have these. They have these like ragers on the thing where they bring bring in DJs like a la Las Vegas style. Your the drinks are flowing. I think it's. I think it's a great time. And you're on the water. It's a. It's a sight we don't get to see a lot, man. Cruise ships get a bad rap, but I think if you use them in the right context, if you go on in the right context, it could be a fantastic time. Let me propose for you here an alternative to that, you know, luxurious vacation you just proposed. You get a few buddies and you go to a city, right? This is on ground. We'd be on ground in the situation, not on the water. And you know what we would still have? We would still have food. It's still a possibility. We would still have um, parties. It's still a possibility. There could still be DJs on land. All of these things that you just mentioned, these things that are so great, they're not exclusive to the sea, right? You want to go on rides? Go to an amusement park, right? You want to go to a spa, go to a spa. You want to go in a pool, go in a pool. You want You're to get all in one place, point. go to an all-inclusive hotel, and then you can still be on the water. Why do you need to be moving in the middle of the ocean? It's also like pretty freaky, by the way. Have you seen these videos of cruise ships at night looking out and it's just eerie blackness? You p- cherry You're sleeping. You're sleeping best... during that, buddy. Yeah, I don't know if you'd be sleeping. You'd probably be awake looking out scared as fuck. But you picked the best possible scenario of you're taking a cruise to a place for five minutes and you're getting to a vacation, which means the vacation is the best part of the cruise, right? Not the actual cruise, not the journey, but the destination. If you're taking a cruise truly for the journey where you're going, you know, two weeks and you're stopping at each little place and you're getting off for 10 hours at a time, not only is that stressful, it's so unsanitary, Jones. We, we've not talked about it. You're, you're basically on a moving hospital or a oh. moving toilet oh, like if you think gosh. about it it is it's a moving toilet where's all that stuff going it's staying on there with you right if somebody gets sick remember during covid when that one cruise ship like people got covid it turned into like something out of a movie the epicenter of the pandemic it's so unclean it's so unsanitary if you want all the great parts of life the great parts of a party you want to be with your buddies and doing all this sh- stuff just go to a city that's what they were invented for you want the vegas experience go to fucking vegas no, you just made my point for me. Everything is condensed on this one boat while also getting the experience of being out on the water. There's something just nice about exploring the ocean and seeing what's out there. And what are you seeing? Thing, what are you seeing? Are you, you're seeing the same it's a thing nice, every it's a nice, single day. All right. It's well, Jack, like and, Ro- Jack and Rose, cruise. Jack and Rose fell in love to that beautiful sunset over the water. You don't think you could find some love like that? Come on, man. And and secondly, I hate this argument about germs. Like, oh no, 
oh my gosh, if I get sick, like, guess what? College is really unsanitary. Uh, you know, any place where concerts are really unsanitary. Life, when it's lived well, is unsanitary. Get used to it. That's why we have immune systems. We're, we're trying to fight them. Obviously, for people who have, like, immune deficiencies, maybe they don't want to be in intense places of people like a cruise ship, but that would be any place like a concert or anything. So that argument does not hold any water for me, no pun intended. Uh, it's a great experience, and I'm sorry you're missing out on it. I'm not missing out. I'm just glad I'm missing out on it. I would never want to go on that. Like it's just, it's just terrible. And also for you, why, why does everything always come down to, oh, we might find the love of your life. You might be with the love of your life on this cruise ship. No, you're not. You know where you're finding the love of your life, Jones? In a fucking city, on ground, on land, like most humans do. I didn't say the love of your life. I just said find some love. This has been Gimme 5 with Jones and Eli. Remember to follow us on Instagram and TikTok for a chance for our next pod topic. Eli, thanks for talking. That was a pleasure, Jones. Talk to you soon.